If I had a genie grant me three wishes, one of those wishes is to zap off all of the hair on my face from my sideburns down, okay? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Renee. Now, on today's video, we're gonna be talking skincare, specifically fall skincare. I previously did a video on basically my full skincare routine, but I wanna share with you guys something new that I'm adding to that routine. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So I just came back in from having brunch and I just thought, let me just talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm adding to my skincare routine. I did a previous video on my full skincare routine and it's very simple because that's what works best for me. When I try all that rigmarole, it does the most, so I just kept it simple. Now, I started using Tretinoin about March, April of this year. I went to Rescue Spa in New York City for my birthday and they gave me the best facial. You hear me? The best facial. And I'm going to like submit a little bit of clips just so you can see. It looked real greasy, but like I, my skin felt like it could breathe. So from Rescue Spa in the city, I ordered the Lotion P50. It's from the brand Biologique and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last part. Rish 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 Rish. <laughs> But it's from Biologique and it is a Lotion P50, the Pick'em 400. Now this is supposed to be a really good exfoliator and brightener and that's what I'm trying to work on now. So I've been using Tret like I said earlier but they also recommend that you do not use this in the same routine. So I may like go down to using this maybe once a week, maybe like on a Sunday like today or Eventually, I'll probably just use it once a week. So the Tread did a good job at smoothing out my skin texture because it was bad. I've had good days and I had bad days. My skin is starting to like calm back down because I feel like it was starting to like flare up again. And it could be just the way I've been eating, but I feel like the texture has gotten so much more smoother. But now that it is fall winter time, I want to work on the hyperpigmentation. Like I said, I just came in, so I have a little bit of makeup on, but I do have some hyperpigmentation that I need to handle, and I feel like now that the sun is not as striking, and I'm still wearing my sunscreen no matter what, no matter what time of year, you still want to wear your sunscreen, but I feel like it's not as strong, so I can really get into a routine to combat the hyperpigmentation. I got the travel size because I didn't want to invest into a big bottle and I'm not sure how it's going to work on my skin because I do have sensitive skin so I started out with the travel size. It's $42 just for this tiny bottle. But like I said, I don't want to just go and shock my skin into something else when it's been getting used to the tread so far. So I'm just going to use little by little. They recommend that you just put a little bit on a cotton ball and then dab it in. I'm used to like wiping and swiping my toners on my face because before this is the one that I currently use the Ren. I use this now and even on the same night that I use the Tret, I feel like when I wake up in the morning my skin is glowing. But like I said, they said they do not recommend you using this in the same routine as the Tret and I'm not sure if they mean specifically the same night or in general. So I'm just going to slowly lessen how much tread I use and for the winter just incorporate this at night maybe for the first few weeks and then I'll try to go into morning and evening so they do say do not use go do not go directly into sun exposure directly after using this so and I typically run out the house so I'm just gonna just to get myself used to it just use it in the evenings to start now the only place that you can get the P50 is in spas. The only place that I've seen it is in Rescue Spa in the city. I know they have a location in Philly, but I believe you can only get it from spas like where they have licensed estheticians. You can't, I see a lot of people like on TikTok, I did my research like on TikTok and YouTube. I see a lot of people complaining how they can't just get it anywhere. But the thing is with people, they don't know how to use products right. A lot of things are for professional use only. And when you're using it incorrectly, then they want to get on the internet and start bashing the product and seeing how it doesn't work. They're lying, this, is and that. It didn't work for you. And I guarantee you, you probably weren't using it correctly. Or it's okay if it's just not for you. You can't complain it's breaking your skin out or making your hair fall out and this and that if you're not using it right. You're using it the way you want to use it. You're leaving things in overnight when you're not supposed to. You're leaving it in too long. You're not leaving it in long enough. How do you know it worked or not if you're not following the directions? So anyway, 
I went to where I got my facial and I got it from Rescue Spa. So if you're interested, you can get it from there. But I always recommend going and getting a consultation first. You just don't want to just go in and just start using something random on your skin and you may not need it. Or maybe you need something stronger. I got the more mild version. It's for what I needed to do. So let me read a little bit of details off my phone on what the product can do and what's in it. So they said that it's ideal for dull complexions and dark spots. And I have a lot of them. And I am so hairy. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before in my <laughs> skincare video before. If I had a genie grant me three wishes, one of those wishes is to zap off all of the hair on my face from my sideburns down. Okay, Get, I don't need the hair from here down. Okay, I'm talking about full Santa Claus out, of, out here. It's pissing me off. I feel like if I wasn't so hairy. <laughs> If I wasn't so hairy, I wouldn't have as much type of pigmentation, but that could be my hormones and I need to incorporate a better diet along with my skincare. But that's a whole other topic that we'll get into on another day, okay? So the benefits of the P50 Pigment 400, it enhances epidermal renewal, helps regulate melanin synthesis, removes dead cells and impurities, enhances epidural renewal. It lightens the skin, reduces the size of pigmentation marks, and prevents them from appearing. Paraben-free, no phenol. When it says lightens the skin, don't think bleaching. It's literally lightening the pigmentation of the hyperpigmentation that is there. So don't think that it's going to turn you into like cartel back in his day, pre-jail, pre-prison, okay? No gray face over here. Just brighten and glow is what we're looking for, okay? So... Like I said, I'm going to start slow and let me know down below, have you tried this brand out? What do you think about it? Which version of the P50 have you tried? Because I'm interested. I did my research, but again, I'm starting little by little. I don't want my face to drop off. I don't want my face to burn. But let me know. Let me see. And especially if you're black, because I don't see a lot of black women reviewing the P50. I see a few, but not as much. Most of the reviews are on non-black women and i feel like yes skin is skin but i feel like we have specific needs that only we necessarily understand when it comes to hyperpigmentation so that's why i just want to hear from like more black women and see more reviews on the p50 especially the pig in 400 or maybe maybe the 1970 version is best for hyperpigmentation just from what i reviewed and you know came to my own conclusion of which one I should choose. I thought the Pigment 400 was ideal for what I was looking for of my needs for my skin. I don't need an overhaul. I feel like I got that already. I did that part with the trap. So now I'm going to combat that, okay? So my goal for my new skincare routine will be cleanser. Cetaphil. Simple, easy peasy. It's been working for me so far. I get the big ones for gentle skin, dry to normal sensitive skin. This will be my cleanser. For my toner will be the Lotion P50 Pigment 400. That's gonna be my toner, okay, step two. And right now for my moisturizer, it's gonna be by CeraVe, the moisturizing cream. Until I can get my hands on another Denocera, the moisturizing cream, amazing. I got that as well from the rescue spot. I need to get a full size bottle. Until then, this is gonna be my moisturizer, but for winter, it's nice and thick. Both of them are nice and thick, but that Dennis Sarah moisturizer is nice and thick, and that's what I'm going to incorporate eventually into my routine. But for now, this will be my moisturizer, okay? An honorable mention, if I have on makeup, which I have on today, which I'll be using, is going to be the Garnier Micellar Water to wipe off any makeup, and then I'll get into my routine. But easy peasy, I can't do the most. The trap I'm going to keep on using just once a week. Because now I'm using about three, maybe four times a week. I'm going to bring it down to one day a week just to keep the texture nice and smooth the way it is. It did a great job for that and that glow. I just don't want it going haywire and mixing and doing whatever it's going to do and mess up what I got going on. Especially when they specifically say do not use it in the routine with track. Okay, so... One day a week, I'm going to keep this in there. Nice and simple. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys my simple fall routine and what I'm adding to it. I could do a whole getting ready with me and do the whole skincare routine. I think I've already filmed that already. Maybe I'll refilm one for the fall winter just to show you guys like what I do. I didn't want to like come in what up the whole bathroom and the whole production. Because filming those, it, it does the most, okay? So maybe I'll plan on doing one of those. But I just want to share 
what I'm going to incorporate just for the simple skincare girls to see if maybe you use this brand, how you liking it, the specific Pigum 400, if you use that one or if you use the 1970, the stronger version, let me know down below if you have any experience with it, okay? So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell wherever it is on the screen. Follow me on all my social media channels. I'm pretty much Renee Lennox on everything. My website, ReneeLennox.com. And until next time, bye.